But is that, having sex with an alien, is that going to make them understand God any better? Some people that I know use sex as a way to get closer to God. I mean, Kama Sutra and all those words were created out of sex to, to bring it closer into a reality. But when you try to take something to make it fit what you think it needs to fit into, like your emotions, your nervous system, your pulse, and, and things like that, uh, to the taste, to the smell, all of the senses of the body, and that's what love is about. But when you try to fit something like God into that, it doesn't fit. It will never fit. It will never fit into the box that they're trying to put it into. And never mind trying to understand something without the truth for yourself. How do you even understand the truth of God? Why did God create souls and put them down here in the first place? Well, all those things should be answered by you uh, learning to do your meditations going inside and all that which uh, I will be doing um, working with TJ we're trying to set up classes and, and doing it that way as well uh, not sure if our, how, which way it's going to go but we're trying and we're trying to work out the idea now but people are thinking about something better than what they have that's not 100% 100% you're satisfied with what you have. You don't need somebody else. You don't need somebody to do different things. You don't need all these other words outside of, I got my partner, got my mate. I don't need these other things. So that's why I say three-way relationships and anything like that will never work. You have to cheat on your partner. That'll never work. Yeah, you know, guys get away with it. Sometimes they go their whole life. And there's a couple of reasons. One, the saddest one, is the woman knows it, but doesn't want to deal with it. Two, money's too big and, and there, and they don't want to lose the money. So, and then the other one is they truly don't care, but they have nothing else better to do. So, all these things we put together create and when we talk about love is it bringing it into us or driving it away tell your husband you had sex with an alien and what do you think you're going to get I mean if you ever watched the movie The Exorcist or Part 2 or any of those kind of movies Rosemary's Baby for one uh which is also alien implantation, which is going on. I mean, those kind of things. Uh, the people that get picked, who do you think they are? Why do they get picked? Alien comes from the multiverse, different universe or whatever, to come here? And so then I'm going to play pick up six and pick one stick up and see if it's the right one. Really? So we we balance our act out any way we want to make it fit our egotistical ideas of it without once really filling it with the truth, looking for the truth, trying to make it fit the way it's supposed to fit. So morals? What are your morals? Are you trying to understand God yet? Do you have a way to go about doing that? Well, the same scenario, which I give all the time, is put it on a piece of paper and look at it. Let your mind see it from a different angle. Seeing inside of itself, but looking outside, writing it down. What do you think uh, a being or God or deity would come down and work with you? What do you offer? What do you have to give back? So, where where would they be? What level for them to come down and do that? Think about it. What level is a race at that comes down and abducts you to bring you on a ship to play with you? Taking your semen and things like that. Or your egg or whatever you want to say. 
you're a female, male, whatever. What do you think? Do they care? Oh, I just want some somebody sperm to create a child. I just want an egg to produce what I'm going to produce. Cloning, half breeds and all that. Uh, it would be a sad world. Is it the same as two different races having sex and having a child? Not much. But we can't respect each other as a race of what we are. So the best thing is to combine them all and nobody can say they're Russian, German, Italian, Indian, whatever. Is that a good thing? Uh, oh yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, we, we won't be able to... Well, maybe there's some DNA that you really don't want part of your life. With that, we each go forward in our path, in our mission, in our way to look for love. But the alien part of it is really critical now because it is a big thing. The idea of clones having souls, yes, they will. If they're going to be alive, they're going to need some kind of inner machine, live machine running the machine. But what kind of souls will they be? I mean, demons can probably reincarnate as a soul. Aliens are reincarnating onto this planet now as well. Why? And then the bottom line, I always ask yourself, why do alien races come to planet Earth? We have the best corp crops, so we have the best tea. What, what do you think? What do you think they would come here for? best pizza pie, best humans to eat. I mean, there's multiple scenarios if you want to go through them. But realizing they do come here from somewhere far away and they're going to do something stupid, which isn't really going to help us, I mean. Yep, it's about breakfast and dinner and lunch in between. What are we going to eat today? I saw a movie, and this is no lie. I think I saw it with uh, something like Soylent Green, uh, where they turned animals, uh, people into dog food. It was too much the movies together. And the other one was about a restaurant that served human people in the name of turkey, roast beef, whatever. But they were killing people. So they killed this black woman. And they had us. And this, this is a movie. And I didn't make it up. And they said, well, we only have dark meat today. Uh, pathetic. But it was a movie. And it was kind of strange. But how, how we perceive things in little bits here and there. We make movies about things here and there. But truth resides in everything. Not the whole truth, parts of truth. But they reside in that part, that part of that could be real. But it doesn't have to be really created the same way you perceive it to have been. So, we work at that. We work at so many levels. And we still want to hear the word love. Jesus came here to teach love. And, and I love them more than anything. Do you? Who do you love more than anybody? Yourself? Well, you know, I'm going to kind of cut it short today for that reason. I was hoping TJ was come on. She said she was going to ask me a whole bunch of questions. Uh, but please, love is a complex thing. Uh, my story is in Truth Beyond the Illusion. Uh, my second book, When Truth is Called Crazy. Well, if anybody wants it, When Truth is Called Crazy or How to See God, I can send it to them as an ebook. But it's basically how I perceive life, how I went through things and everything to get where I'm at. We all got somewhere, whether it's closer to God, closer to spirit, closer to lies, closer to demons, is up in the air to what we uh, filled it with. But remember, we could change it. We could always add to it, create a better scenario which we must do. 
So open yourself up to the truth. Look in the mirror. See who you are. If you're not in a relationship, are you willing to try to have one? Uh, last train of thought. A good friend of mine that I had for a while, he was in, kind of disabled, and he was had a, a good relationship with this girl, and he helped me a lot. So you can get help from people that you may not perceive you could, but the problem is I'm sure he passed away. So I, I, I'll never be able to speak to him again in the physical or uh, what these people that are using his site are doing, they won't answer anything I say or ask them or anything like that. So, love is there. But it's just like anything else. It's just like a, a, a caterpillar before it turns into a butterfly. It could say caterpillar and stay on the ground, or it could grow wings and go wherever it wants. And you always have the choice. Which, not for me, but for most people, it should be take the choice whenever it comes along. Don't say no to something that, that that's a good thing. Take it. Somebody wants to give you a dollar bill, take it. Somebody wants to give you a hundred dollar bill, take it. Somebody wants to give you a million dollars, take it. If anyone says, oh, I can't take it. Uh, why? I miss a lot of birds and I can't get involved. Uh, you can make up stories for anything you want. Twist it, reword it. Truth is, you need to be real, and that real means real to yourself. So when I talk about uh, speakers, I wish I heard speakers that really move me in a lot of ways. Uh, there's one person who really works good with people. She's with, she worked for over and now she's kind of doing her own thing. She works with families and tries to keep them together. But if you don't have people that are willing to do something, become active, it's all in vain. Activity is what creates. Inactivity, inactivity destroys. You don't agree with me, but that's what I believe in. So, as we move along on this path, it, it seems to get wider, longer, and more he heavy burdens for you to carry. Well, if that's happening, you know you're doing something right. Because if it all comes easy, and it's all there, all the time, you're not learning much. And basically, as long as you're in the physical, it's about learning. So, that, that's going to be it for today. Uh, I don't know. I'll call CJ, get in touch with her, see what the game plan is for the near future. Uh, talking about these workshops and how we're going to try to create them and things like that. She's thinking about doing it on Skype. Uh, we can be doing it a couple different ways. But uh, I'm thinking about a conference in next year in Vegas. Janet's doing hers in... Uh, Albuquerque uh, depending how good a bad she does is like whether anybody else would want to go back there but I see she's not paying everybody she's going to have a lot of people talking on Skype which I know I wouldn't want to be well peace everybody have a good night good day uh, you heard it here first Hope you got something out of today, but love is a really important thing. The same as it's not easy to complete it, to make it work. And until a person's in that place, it will never work right. And if you want it to work right, the 100% of who we are is, is what we got to give always to that, to make it real. So... Please, try to get your friends to listen, send them a link, try to get them to come on. I mean, I, I could get into questions easy if everybody's asking them, but TJ was supposed to come on. Never happened. Uh, hopefully she's getting closer and closer to being on. She promised me she was coming on. I should have made her set up the, the, the panel, the control board. Uh, but then if she didn't come on, which she did a couple of times, I'd be in space.